they're in the biggest control when they're out there during <laughs> yeah. qualifying. So, uh, you know, actually, I think when Carl looks back at that lap, he's going to see where turn six and seven really cost him a lot of time. But look at this lap by Marcus Ambrose in this nine car as he comes up through the S's two tenths quicker than Jimmy Johnson right now. Watch the little plus or minus number in the blue box down in the bottom right hand corner. Jimmy Johnson's fast time, Marcus gets a little squirrely there. Jimmy Johnson's time was a 110-18. Yesterday, Ambrose was the only guy to go into the 109s and he separated himself from the rest of the field car by almost half a second in final practice. And I'm telling you something, he got through that bus stop. That thing, it, he got, he carried a lot of speed, but he controlled the speed and ex that was a great bus stop for him. He has never qualified on the front row here in Sprint Cup at Watkins Glen. He's never finished any worse than third in three three finishes here. To he the has, line. Yeah, he has nailed every corner, it looks like. Does he go to the top? Yes, he does. Marcus Ambrose with a one minute 10 flat. Provisionally on the pole. Let's go back and analyze that bus stop experience. Yeah, I, I think when he approaches the bus stop, you see he's on the brakes right here at hard. Right here, you almost get off the brakes. He lets the thing float over the end, the right side of the car with the right side. He's already turning in at that point. He keeps it just as Jimmy Johnson did on those inner ripple strips. He never really leaves that patch, comes straight off and accelerates straight through here. You can see the car just digging forward as he comes through here. As it bounces over, it gets a little bit out, but he's in the right place in the middle of the racetrack to make that entrance into that the next corner. First of the two RPM Fords. We'll see AJ Armendinger a little.